Hello, hello, my dears. I have some exciting news. A much awaited, off awaited package has finally arrived. It is a scroller box. And this box was sent to me by Kabocha from Ink Drop Cafe in an effort to help promote Ink Drop Cafe. So if you guys haven't heard, Ink Drop Cafe is the Creators Collective. And there are phenomenal web comics over there that you guys should be checking out. Comics like Link. Spider Silk, Seven Inch Kara, Centralia, The Angel with Black Wings, so many great comics. I hope you guys will head on over to inkdropcafe.com and check them out. They're all free to read. They're all created by independent creators like you and like me. And um, they are created by people who are passionate about what they do. So head on over to Ink Drop Cafe and check those wonderful comics out. And if you enjoy art tutorials and art resources, Ink Drop Cafe has you covered there as well. From CMS solutions like Growlix to Paper Cat Press, which shares comic job opportunities, to Nata Soup Studio Art and Process blog which shares resources and tutorials, there is something for everyone who's interested in art and comics at Ink Drop Cafe. And if you're looking for a community, make sure you swing by our Discord. So I hope I'll see you guys there. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So I need to, I haven't even slit the tape on this. So I will use this little rotary cutter here and do just that. Alrighty. And I have been very careful not to prejudice myself with what is in this month's box. That does mean I have to tuck my head in under a rock sometimes, but I was so excited when Kabocha contacted me to see if I would be interested in checking out these boxes. And the only thing she asked for in return was a nice Ink Drop Cafe plug, which I am more than happy to do as a member myself. Sorry, I'm also taking photos. Alrighty. So we've got our wonderful purple tissue paper with a cute little sticker and I have full permission to be snarky if snarky is necessary so uh, just keep that in mind that while I didn't purchase this box this, pur this box was purchased so that I could be completely honest and entertaining but you know what every scroller box that I've gotten I really really liked so we have a sticker and we also have a list of what's in the box. And I'm just going to avoid that. I actually think this might be good news, bad news, because, oh, awesome. So it's uh, chameleon markers, quite a lot of them, actually. And this is ironic because I just got the chameleon color tops and I have a big set of chameleons. So what I think I'm going to do, I have a feeling actually, most, oh, what, 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 that's crazy. Look, 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 they're not just chameleons. They're also the color tops. And I know I probably have some of these, but I don't have some of these. And for these, I have all but black. So Kabocha, I know you're watching this. I'm going to send you everything that I already have. So that's gonna be a pretty sizable little collection. And this is super exciting because it kind of coincides with what I'm already doing. And they also included the line pin. And I know I have one of these floating around somewhere. So Kabocha, I will send you the line pin as soon as I find the other one, if that's cool with you. So that's kind of our deal, is that um, if there's anything in the box that Kabocha wants, uh, I go ahead and send it to her. Oh, and we get a <laughs> spearmint too. I actually really like um, like taffies and stuff, especially if they're mint flavored, so. Oh, whoa. 
And then we have a really cool piece of art that was done by Benjamin Davis. Benjamin Davis, 25 years old, born and raised in Brigand, South Wales, UK. He has been drawing for as long as he can remember, but really started to up his game after being inspired by other artists on Instagram. He, you know what? At least this dude is honest. He saved up enough to buy himself a full set of quality color pencils and has been practicing as much as possible ever since. He mostly works in pencil, but also explores other mediums and likes to challenge himself by taking on new things. He experimented with chameleon markers for this piece and we think he nailed it. We hope his work inspires you to get creative and try something new too. Benjamin Davis Art at Big Cartel and here is his Instagram. So that's really cool. I would love to see the video of him if there is a video of him working on that. We also have, I think it's two sheets of paper. I think they're the same type of paper. I don't know what kind. I'm assuming it's marker. And let's go ahead and read what they sent. So, we are exploring one pin blends with Chameleon this month with their new product co color tops. I really gotta say, that is, man, either Scrawler Box or Chameleon is super on the ball because the color tops literally just came out like okay i backed their indiegogo months ago i literally got it like this week so that is pretty impressive that is some you know art snack sketchbox when i complain about how you guys aren't acting fast enough this is what i'm talking about and the chameleons have been out for a while in fact i reviewed them in 2015 i believe on the blog but the color tops are brand stinking new and look how much you get for what you pay for. I'd have to double check since this was gifted to me. I'd have to double check on the price, but this is a good value for what it costs. So, exclusive to the June box, you're getting these brand new items at the same time as Kickstarter backers. I really think it was an Indiegogo though, but I might be wrong. Test out this exciting new marker blending system and see how many different color combinations you can create. The Chameleon Color Tones Pen, a double-ended alcohol marker that can be used like a normal marker or used to create stunning color gradients and blends. Usually to produce, hmm, usually to produce gradients like this, you would need to use several pens of different shades with a blender pen. I was really hoping they would include, like once I realized it was chameleons, I was like, oh, give me that blender pen because I'm missing that. Um, Let's see, where are we? Boop, boop. You would need to use several pins of different shades with a blender pen. With these, it makes it easy. Uh, it can be easily achieved using just one. Each marker has a high quality soft, soft brush nib. Do keep in mind, marker users, that those high quality soft brush pins are um, their fiber. So if you're used to Copics or Prism colors and the flexibility, these are not going to have that. The mixing chamber is used to fuse the nibs with blending solution to create stunning gradient effects. Chameleon color tops, exclusive. To be fair, I don't think they're selling these in the open anywhere. I think you had to buy back the Kickstarter slash Indiegogo and they did offer you the opportunity to buy more of them, but they certainly are not of easily, they're not on Dick Blick, for example. So they are right on that. Fresh from another successful Kickstarter campaign, Chameleon have launched a whole new way to blend color. Color tops work with color tone markers to create simple, seamless color to color blends. The pen literally does the blending for you. They work in the same way the mixing chamber do, wait, the mixing chambers do on the markers, but instead add a second color to your blend. The Chameleon Detail Pen, a double-ended fine line pen with two nibs containing black pigment-based ink that's permanent when dry and compatible with all alcohol-based inks. Anything you draw will not smear when combined with Chameleon Color Tone Markers. And then white acid-free paper. That's cool, but I'm probably gonna use a different acid-free paper. All right, so Squalor Challenge is Maximum Carnage. We'll, we'll see about that. Um, but each month we provide you with a selection of art supplies and inspirations, but we also want to boost your creativity. So we're giving you a challenge to be interpreted in any way you wish. See if you can create something using only the supplies in the box. Well, some of us need to sketch first. Good luck and don't forget to share your creations with us. Hashtag Scrawler Challenge. So thank you so much, Kabocha. You're going to be getting a box with the duplicates. So you are, Kabocha, if you guys are not familiar with her work, does the webcomic linked, which you guys should be reading. You can find that through inkdropcafe.com. Also does phenomenal Photoshop and manga studio brushes that are available to the public for free. If you like manga, uh, 
Kabocha's probably got you covered because she's done so many useful tone brushes. And those are also linked through inkdropcafe.com. So you can find both her comic and her phenomenal brushes there. But Kabocha is also super into alcohol markers. There, she's the one who sent me um, some of the burp, 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 Neo Pico markers that I reviewed recently on this channel. So I know she's gonna be super, she's probably watching this and is like, oh, so jealous. But don't worry, you're getting a bunch of these. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to double check what I have for the duplicates and then mark the ones I'm gonna send to her. But thank you so much, Kabocha. And you guys keep watching. Um, because this is this is weird because like I just spent a whole lot of time demonstrating the markers I have for these in another video, but I will demonstrate them again because I know a lot of you are watching this because you want to see the scroller box unboxing, but I totally recommend you check out that video as well, especially if you think these look cool. Um, and it'll sort of be like a sneak peek because I haven't even experimented with my color tops yet. I'm sort of working my way through, but I will uh, skip a little bit ahead and um, go ahead and demonstrate the color tops so that it's all in the video. So coming up next is the price breakdown where we find out what the bo box costs and the value of the box itself and the demonstration. So I hope you guys will keep on watching and I hope you guys will enjoy. And don't forget to check out Ink Drop Cafe at inkdropcafe.com. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye. Okay, so I know I signed out, but I did notice a few things that I wanted to share them here. First of all, the number of markers they included in this set, it's gotta be more than the price of the box. Secondly, it seems like, um, so I ordered the 30 piece new color set, um, which are not the original 20 colors, so there's no duplicates. Three of these markers came from that set, which means they are going for the newer markers, which is cool. Um, I think, it, it's great if you're somebody who already had a set of the chameleon markers. Um, this is not going to cause any overlap. With the caps, so the, I'll grab mine. The way the Kickstarter went is um, I did the four pack set. They're sold in color families, right? So I only had one duplicate, that's PK4. That's from the floral tones. There are no duplicate colors across sets. So this tells me these are probably from the skin tone, but I'm just guessing here because I don't actually know. And this would be from a gray, grayscale set. So when they selected their color tops, it was from a variety of sets. They didn't just go through one set. Now, either way would be cool. It's just something I noticed. Next, it seems like all of the colors they included were used in this demonstration illustration, um, Benjamin's illustration here. These are all colors you can find in this piece. What's cool about this is if you wanted to sort of familiarize yourself with these markers, you could do so by sort of mimicking what you see in the piece before you try your own. And then of course the theme they selected, Massive Carnage, just tends to work well with the colors that they included. So um, I was talking to Kabocha about this and just about how impressed I am with this box and how um, just the quality and the thought that seemed to go into this particular box that isn't always as present with some of the other boxes. Now I know Art Snacks tends to really cut it on the line. They, um, they tend to like hit their budget. So I'm not slamming the Art Snacks monthly boxes, but I have done a, like three or four of their specialty boxes. And I would love to see this amount of, of thought and curation put into their specialty boxes. Um, it just seems like this is a really great value. I feel like I really got a lot. So um, I just wanted to include those thoughts since I did do an entire year of comparative reviews comparing Art Snacks versus Sketchbox and then some Sketchbox versus Sketchbox where I compared the their basic to their premium boxes. I mean, I have reviewed a lot of Art Supply subscription boxes. So when I say this is worth your, it, that scrawler box seems to consistently be worth what you pay and that it consistently includes interesting and fun supplies. I mean it. And I want you to take me seriously when I say that. I am under no obligation to say this for Scrawler Box. I just think they're doing a great job and I would love to see them continue with that. So I hope you guys will hang out with me in the overview video, which is coming up soon. I'm gonna play with some markers. And if you enjoy what I do and you'd like to check out more, 
please consider subscribing and exploring my playlist here on this channel. There is a lot of great content. And then head on over to Natto Soup Studio Art and Process blog and check out my Alcohol Markers hub page where I've reviewed dozens and dozens of alcohol markers and I've shared loads of tutorials. Or hey, if you're into comics, check out my Intro to Comic Craft hub page as well. And since feed readers are kind of seeing a resurgence, why don't you subscribe to that as well? And that way you'll get your twice weekly updates. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're looking forward to the future videos. I know I am. I am excited to play with these things. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you again really soon. Bye.